Hello everyone and welcome to Moki Laser. I started this journey because I wanted my own laser engraver and after looking at many commercial off-the-shelf units and even borrowing this uh, Zabai 2 unit that you saw on the screen from a friend of mine and trying it out, I decided there was just nothing available in my price range and with the features I wanted. So I designed everything using Autodesk Fusion 360 and then I printed the parts as you can see in red PLA on my Creality Ender 5. Uh, my Ender 5 is heavily modified. I have uh, all metal uh, direct drive extruder, but um, all of the parts were designed specifically so that there is no support material required. The main body of the machine is built from 2040 extrusion. I sourced it, almost all the parts off of Amazon. Some of the hardware I got from Granger, but uh, all the parts, including the motors, the V wheels, the belts, the G2 pulleys, everything was uh, sourced on Amazon. I will eventually put the links together. Um, I also had a Sane Smart 5.5 watt laser module laying around. I had intended at one time to add it onto my Creality Ender 5, but I decided on a standalone unit instead. So here it is all assembled. You can see my very first test uh, firing of the laser is uh, on a phone case. Looks like the Air Force logo there and uh, it worked out well. Again, this is using an Arduino CNC shield, GRBL 1.1. There's the dimensions, 560 by 840 overall size, uh, five and a half watt laser. And uh, future efforts, I want to include a 32-bit driver that will uh, definitely expand on the features and things that the laser can do, as well as a higher power laser module and uh, air assist as well. So let me know what you think, and I will include the files and all the links in the comments below. Thanks.